Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA dropped some big time SBCs yesterday, which brought us some major profits and also some crazy cards onto this game. But it's the free card that EA gave out yesterday that is impacting prices the most. We're going to talk about that today. And of course, what to look forward to today on FC24 as the FC Pro Live cards are once again in action. And will we see a market rise today that we can maybe buy some cards ahead of? We'll talk about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's SBCs first because there were two SBCs and they were both bangers. The first one was the expected 87 plus base or Centurion's icon upgrade. And actually, if you look at it, it's an 86 and an 87 rated squad, which is the exact same requirement that the regular base icon upgrade was, except both of these require informs. That's the difference. And the price is really not that crazy different either. It's 294,000 coins, which is a little more expensive than I was hoping that it would be. And it was still an expensive price that I thought maybe people wouldn't want to go and do the SBC, but I guess the Centurion's icon being inside of it and the fact that it's only two squads and it's an 86 and an 87, even though the inform requirements are in there, it makes it seem cheaper, I guess, to some people. It's 60% upvoted and people are doing it, man. I've seen some really good pulls. I've also seen some really bad pulls. Now, I'm not going to be doing this SBC 100%, but it's really because of the inform prices that I don't want to do that SBC because I'm only going to put an inform into that if I pack it untradeable yes i have the coins but i don't like to spend a ton of coins on informs for something like that i guess over time it's just it's gonna wear my coin balance down right so informs of course with that being out are thirty-five thousand coins a piece with the 83 times 10 refreshing every day those just keep going up and now there's even more demand for the informs if you invested in informs ggs they're probably going to keep going right because everybody needs informs right now and ea once again are have them in demand and also are not supplying them it's still crazy what they're doing with informs this year they keep requiring them but they don't supply them i mean they put out the team league player pick but like we talked about it's a little bit expensive so ggs if you invested there those prices are probably going to keep going this did create a little bit of icon panic on the market yesterday i'm going to take a look at the index icon here in footbin the index icon went from 78 points down to about 74 where it is right now. So there definitely were some price drops because of that. But that wasn't the only SBC that was making some prices move on icons and on the market. The Zinedine Zidane SBC as well was dropped yesterday. And honestly, that was the big SBC yesterday that made a lot of hype come to the game, especially in terms of fodder, because you got some higher rated squads inside of here. But first of all, let's take a look at this Zidane card. He's got the first touch plus play style, just like his regular icon card does. Five star, five star. The biggest change with this card, guys, is the work rates. High, medium. The biggest complaint, I think, all the time with this Zidane card is his work rates are medium, medium. So people say he has no passion in game, right? The medium, medium work rates are always pointed out as saying, ah, they just don't work hard on the defense or the attack. So they're just, they have no passion, right? High medium work rates is a huge change for this card. Yes, of course, they did downgrade his passing and his dribbling a bit from even his prime, or his, I say a prime, it's the same image as his prime card used to have, his base icon card. It's four shooting, passing, and dribbling lower, but it's plus two pace and plus three physical. And of course, it is a lot cheaper, right? Do I think this SBC is actually an insane price? Like, is it a, a tremendous SBC? I'm going to say no to that because it's 1.8 million coins right now on the market. It's 13 squads, which actually it's more like 10 squads because of course you have the bronze the silver and the 83 rated squad for the loan if you're thinking about doing this sedan chuck some 83s into this test them out see how you like them and then go throughout the rest of the sbc and finishing the whole thing off but if this card was on the market would he actually be 1.8 million coins when his prime card is 2.5 I feel like it would be close to that. I do feel like it's maybe just a smidge overpriced, but it's not It's not a bad SBC by any stretch of the imagination. I am considering doing this. This is it's a Don card that you can use for a really long time as a center attacking mid, as a center mid box to box, and you can tell that people like it, right? 84% upvoted for Zidane. So I think it's a really solid SBC. It's going to be a great card in game. The work rate change is one of the biggest things for sure. And of course, with this much hype, for the Zidane SBC, what has happened to fodder? 
it has gone up a lot 89 rated were 35,000 coins they're now approaching 40k uh, 90s were 50,000 coins they went all the way up to about 55 56,000 coins some of them are down just a little bit right now as we head into to Monday you can see this big spike though Sam Kerr 52k all the way to 57,000 coins uh, De Bruyne is a 91 went all the way to like 67,000 coins so if you invested in any of this fodder 88 or above, but specifically like 89s and 90s and 91s, they did really, really good. Now, I invested in some of this. I mentioned it last night on the YouTube video. I actually sold all of mine an hour or two after the SBC dropped. I got my KDBs out at 67 to 68. A lot of my 90s I sold for 56,000 coins uh, because I knew that there was going to be so many people going out and buying these cards to do the 88 and the 89 rated versions of or the, the squads of the Zidane SBC so I wanted to take the quick cash now if you haven't sold your fodder yet you didn't miss the opportunity to sell I still think these cards are going to slowly rise throughout the week you'll probably buy Wednesday usually Wednesday is a time where you want to sell your fodder by before we get rivals rewards and before we get sometimes actually most times now they're running lightning rounds on a Wednesday for a new team of the week that comes out. So maybe it's Tuesday when you want to sell your fodder by kind of just depends on the week. But I mean, these cards are definitely up, right? And that's a W. So if you still have fodder, you can continue to lazy list it. I think your 88 and above should stay up during this week because people will want to be crafting this Zidane. There's an 83 times 10 out as well. So everybody who gets high rated fodder from that is probably going to be starting to put it into Zidane. That's what I'm even tempted to do to get Zidane into my squad. So WSBC there. And honestly, decent craftability as well with all the stuff that's out in objectives. So fodder st should keep doing good things. Now, also, there was some fodder that moved for the uh, 87 plus I compact too. 87s did actually do pretty good. They went from about 16,000 coins up to about 18 and a half. So that was a good investment there. Basically, 87 and above fodder moved really well and informs. The rest of the fodder market is still pretty chill. 85s are at 6K, 86s are at 11 12,000 coins and the 82s and 83s are still really low, but they lazy sell good. So that was kind of the whole SBC situation yesterday. I didn't expect EA to drop both of those in the same day. That was crazy, but we'd love to see it. GG's EA Sports. Let's go. Now, the big content news that was free yesterday was this Mad Lad right here. I'm sure a lot of you guys got it. I guess the cutoff date to get this card was actually November 1st which is a really long time ago, to be honest. But the free Holland that EA gave out to anybody who played the game before November 1st, they kind of did a madness with this card because they gave him a different play style plus. Quick Step plus. Now, Holland is a lengthy... Sorry, he's a controlled acceleration type player. I thought his other versions were lengthy. Maybe with a chem style, he can be made lengthy. But this card has 99 sprint speed, 99 reactions with the quick step plus. I know he's three star, three star, but this card actually has more pace than his 90... What is it? What's his highest rated card right now? 93? The Road of the Knockouts and the Dynasty card. 94. This has more pace than his 94 rated card, which has 93 pace. That is 2 million coins. This card has more than that. So, of course, the shooting and all other stats in the card are down lower than that. But the fact that this card was released yesterday with the pace and the playstyle plus upgrade, I guess you should say, uh, is making some moves on the market. And I think also the fact that it is combined with a objective where you use that card, Beats Holland Goal Rush. You have a long time to do it, 67 days, 66 days left to get this objective done. But if you use the Beats Holland in any game mode, it starts nice. Like every single game, you get one score in one, two, three, all the way to 10. And then after that, it goes in integrations of five and then to 10. But if you score in 50 games with this Holland, you'll get an 85 times two, an 85 plus, an 81 times 11 and a 100k pack to complete the whole entire objective, you get some nice packs. I think that it's probably worth doing the first at least 10, just because you get either a loan card or a couple of nice packs along the way. Um, but it is a little bit annoying because you have to score at least one goal with him, and I think you have to start him in your squad as well. If you plan on doing past the score in 10, you have to start him in your squad because as you can see here, in every single one of the objectives after 10, it says have him in your starting squad so you would want to have him in your starting squad the entire time because if you do the first 10 without him there because you don't have to 
and then start on the rest, then you're going to be putting yourself behind. So that's kind of the objective with this Holland card. A lot of people like this, of course, thumbs up because it's free, but also because the packs that you get back are decent. Now, I understand some of you guys like, Nate, I just, I don't want to put in that work. And I feel you. Like, I think I'm going to do the first 10 and probably call it quits because I don't think I'm going to want to have Holland in my team and have to worry about subbing on and sending them off. But that's just a personal thing. If you like to grind the game, if you like to grind those types of objectives, that is a nice one there that you can do. And to be honest, guys, this is the, the, the title of the video today. This shocked me how much this Holland card, albeit looks kind of mid besides the pace, it's shocking me how much market impact this card is having on the game. Take a look at strikers across this game. Hugo Sanchez yesterday, 167,000 coins. He's currently 120K. War a drop off for him. Oh, Nate, there were Icon SBCs yesterday. He was probably packed. So people sold their tradable one. That's why he's down. Let's look at Tevez then. Tevez yesterday from 210,000 coins all the way to 160. Let's look at Kareem the Dream Benzema from 130,000 coins all the way down to 100,000 coins. Let's throw one more in the mix. Cristiano Ronaldo Trailblazers is 360k. He was 420,000 coins all because of a free Holland. That is, the, that is the majority of why a ton of strikers are down on this game right now is because this card was given out for free. I think that's pretty wild. And I wanted to bring that up today because if you saw that a striker price is down big time in value, like, Nate, why is my striker and my team getting destroyed? Well, this is actually a, one of the big reasons why. And it's kind of crazy that that free card impacted the market that much. I mean, I didn't also expect that uh, Holland card to be that good either with the pace or with the quick step plus, which makes this card at least want to try it because he'll be like, able to get going faster with quick step plus although he is a controlled player i think actually let's look at this chem style real quick if you put a yeah if you put like a hawk or a sniper on him you can go mostly lengthy or controlled lengthy so that's going to be an interesting combination with having the lengthy run style but also with the quick step plus anyways that's something there that I would notice yesterday and I wanted to bring up to you guys. Some of those strikers that dropped off a lot, like Ronaldo, like the Hoyland, maybe they could rise up a little bit during the week. I wouldn't expect it to be like crazy rises, but I could see them slowly kind of turn up during the week. I'll be completely honest. It kind of put me off from wanting to trade or invest in any strikers. Like I thought about buying Hoyland because he's down another 40K from where he was last night when I was looking at him, kind of interested. And but right now I'm kind of like, well, why would I buy his card when a lot of people are using the Holland at striker, right? That's the whole reason why strikers are dropping. Why would I buy another striker right now if it's not going to go up that much because everybody is using the new Holland card anyway? So I'd be careful trading with strikers right now, but there could be some rebounds later on throughout this week. It's definitely obvious, though, that a lot of people are doing that. Uh, are using that Holland card and and therefore like doing the objective as well. It's crazy. So GG's EA for actually making that pretty usable and giving it a reason to actually use the card. I also know some people that just put that card straight into the Zidane SBC. So I feel you either way. I'm probably not going to complete the whole objective, but let's talk more market for a second here. Yesterday, of course, I did sell a lot of my fodder. I didn't really trade with too much else. Um, yeah, I have one card right now on my transfer list. Really one massive card still. I have a Sawa. I bought a Sawa yesterday for 810. She was very, very low um, after the icon pack was dropped. And also I have a couple interesting things about icons today that I want to speak about. Let's just talk about this right off the bat. Before we talk about a Monday market rise, one of the biggest things that's happening today is the FC Pro Live cards are once again in action. And the reason why I'm talking about this in correlation to icons is because all the pros that are playing today, the five pros in group C that are playing today, they can only use icons in their team. It's going to be very, very interesting because each week has different squad building requirements. Like, Nate, does this matter? Yeah, it does. Because if those pros are on that broadcast balling out with certain icons, those icons, remember the last two weeks, they talk about VVD and how cracked he is. VVD goes up on the market. Today, it's going to be icons, even more rare cards that if people hear them being talked about, they'll want to go try them out or they'll want to use them because the pros say they're good. Watch icon prices today if you're watching the stream. That's one of the reasons why I picked up that Sawa as well, because I think Sawa is going to be in some of those pro teams today. And if she gets talked about, that could make her price go up a ton just because of the hype of that. So that's something I would definitely watch for today. But with the live cards in general, you know what I'm going to say. Sell them into the hype. Today we have Deli Ali, 
Koulibaly, Ogbana, Simicon, and I believe even Caballero. I'm pretty sure those are the five cards that are playing today. It's Group C um, that are playing today. You guys know the drill here. Sell into the hype. Your card could go from 80k to 14k like Karamoa did. Or it could go up like Tovan, which the, the likelihood of the card going up as much as Tovan did, or maybe Mane or Kolomani or Willian from the first couple of weeks are very slim. Very slim chances, guys, especially now that so many more people are invested. Sell into the hype. Don't risk it. Get out before the craziness en ensues. And even if your player is winning after you sell on the hype, you'll have an opportunity to reinvest. That's once again, the sell on the hype message on the FC Pro Live cards, but it is group C today. And that stream uh, starts around the content time, as well as it's good to have a tab open so you can get the objectives completed as well from the stream that are in the objectives tab for just watching the stream. So let's talk about a normal Monday market rise though. Usually on Mondays, what's been doing the best recently is the promo team and this ultimate dynasty's promo team does have a few cards in it that i'm interested in lauren james uh she was two hundred thirty thousand coins now she's up to 254 her card interests me a lot because i think a lot of people are super duper interested in that card and it's rare like the rarity is the biggest thing that i like with these cards uh tail hernandez was just 1.2 mil he's now rebounding back up closer to 1.3 um also let's see who else sane kind of interests me a little bit too just because i think a lot of people would want to use this sane card and he's less than a hundred thousand coins i'm not putting a ton of coins into these flips right now guys because i do think there'll be a decent amount of rise on the market today but i don't think it's going to be like everywhere that's why i'm really trying to just look at some specific areas maybe on some of these new promo cards like Again, trying to find the rare ones. That's why I really like the Lauren James card. I'm not going all out today for uh, um, investing in a market rise because one of the things that also I don't like about this game right now is you got the 83 times 10 and the Icon Pack and Zidane that are draining coins every single day now, with especially informs being inflated. You got that coin drain, and also you've got packs in the store that are draining people's coins because EA once again yesterday dropped more lightning rounds and more packs in the store let's see they, oh they dropped the uh another one of those dynasty packs yeah includes two guaranteed ultimate dynasties players another 500k pack i think this was dropped yesterday two players inside of it which i mean there is so much coin drain that is happening right now in all different areas of this game scares me a little bit for the market but uh that's why i'm going to be careful today investing in any sort of market rise but i think there will be opportunities to find some cards here or there at a low price. And I would say you could probably even be safe to hold on to them until like tomorrow on Tuesday for some of those cards. Like remember last week, Neymar's gold card dropped off a bunch during the weekend and then ended up rebounding nicely into like Tuesday, Wednesday, like that sort of thing. Not necessarily with Neymar, but with other cards, especially out of pack specials, I would be trying to look for more of the rare cards that could happen again this week. But I'm not going to put a ton of my coins into it, at least right now now let's do this 83 times 10 for the boys see what we get i haven't packed any of the dynasty cards yet nor have i really opened a lot of packs but it looks like we're getting either if that's thomas muller okay it's not it's magul all right 87 rated magul all right i'll take that modric yesterday magul today can i get an inform in behind us though to keep the streak alive inform please yes man let's freaking go i've opened three 83 times 10s and i've gotten four informs the streak is still alive, baby. We move. Uh, all right, Gabby Vega goes in, and then I will rinse those two into the next 83 times 10. And yes, one other small note of the matter here. I did finish the Adama Traore, 87 rated. Had to get this one done. More of a collector's edition, but I hear he's pretty cracked. So we got that card done. And um, yeah, I'm hoping to return to streaming today, guys. Hoping to return. Feeling a lot better. That's the hope. I'll keep you guys updated, though, on the Twitter machine. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video today. I think that's all that we have for us here today. I will catch you guys another one tomorrow. If you enjoyed it, drop a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. See you guys in a video tomorrow, at least, if not a stream today. It's been Nate for the Count. Peace out.